I arrived at the University of Bristol in 1987, so uh, obviously quite a long time ago. Before that, I did my PhD at the University of Oxford uh, in Labour Economics. I guess I've always been interested in applied work, in evidence, in data, trying to understand how the world works and to make it better. So I guess that led me into um, policy, thinking about policy in the various areas I was studying. I started out as a, as a labour economist, so I was interested in unemployment, job turnover, things like that. About 15 years ago, I started working on the economics of education. So trying to apply the insights of economics to understanding schools, understanding teachers and pupils, um, and how we can design these institutions, how we can design policy to uh, reduce inequality in education, to improve social mobility, and to raise, raise the level of skills in, in our economy. So under that broad heading, I've been interested in pupils, pupil aspirations, how the effort that pupils put into their work at school, how focused they are on, on doing well at school. I've studied teachers, looking at trying to measure teacher effectiveness. And I've been interested in schools, thinking about school uh, accountability, school performance and so on. My management roles are around impact. So that this is a technical university term for meaning that trying to translate the research that I and my colleagues do into effects for, on the real world. So changing policy, uh, making the world better. I balance uh, administrative roles, management roles, with teaching and with research. So my teaching at the moment involves contributing to a third year undergraduate course called Current Economic Problems. I also run two uh, master's level courses, one on the economics of education, obviously, and one on policy experiments. 